I thought that was pretty good considering you went, uh, hey, just like ask him stuff and be funny. Roll! <laughs> 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 Welcome to the No Budget Jimmy Neesham interview show with Pretoria Capitals, uh, episode one, joined by Riley Rousseau. Uh, welcome. Thank you, appreciate your time. We've had a couple of golf days, you're not such a golfer? Uh, occasionally I play, um, I just haven't been asked to play golf this uh, trip yet, so uh, still waiting for the invite. <laughs> but uh, I guess that will come, hopefully. We've all been asked mate, we've all been asked. You're gonna be at training today, aren't you? You're having an extra optional training just yeah. for you, maybe a, a few shuttles in there to make sure. Yeah, luckily enough, Victoria Capitals don't require fitness tests. Uh, they just want you to be on the park and, and do well. So uh, I'm happy with that criteria. Oh, he's picked that up and he's picked it up superbly. Do you want to run the viewers through um, how your net went yesterday? <laughs> No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so I think I was kind of, I think this whole interview is like set up. Yeah. Because um, Jimmy bowled me, what's it, like four balls and uh, four warm up balls, and he nicked me off on the second one, and uh, that was it. Catch it, Mirror! No, 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 no. That's just it. What? I'm blocking you. It's not the full wall, you're walking back to the pavilion now. I can't say much about that, and I don't want to speak about it either. <laughs> <laughs> one for one off two balls. The Nishim vs Riley battle yesterday, so it's good that you're going to get some extras in today. I'm going to go play golf, obviously, because things are going well for me. But... <laughs> 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 you're a dragon. I'll see you the next week on the golf course. Anyway. Oh, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. Um, how do you think you kind of get back into the groove or kind of hold that momentum when you've had such a sort of big time off? I think for like a break is not necessarily a bad thing, but we have been playing good cricket so you kind of want to keep that momentum, but um, I think a break everyone can recharge their batteries and really just take time off cricket and when they come back everyone's intensity can be sky high again, um, where maybe it kind of like, like goes down towards the end of the competition. Now we had a break, we're fresh again and we can come back with a good strong mentality. We've had a few absences from the group over the last week with the international series going on. Who are you missing the most and who are you missing the least out of the players that are missing? Out of the players that are missing, so that's Anrich and Phil. Jaxi. Jaxi. Pani. Pani. And Rash. Rash. Okay, so I'm probably missing Jack the most, but not Jack. That's, that's Jack. Anrich. That's Anrich Nokia, also known as Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Jack. And missing the least, I have to say Rash for his dry sense of humor. <laughs> I thought you were going to go with someone you were close friends with. So <laughs> didn't see him as harsh, but Rash because he's lame, that's your reason. Hey. Sorry, but does, do you know, is this guy on your show? Or? What's going on here, mate? <laughs> this is. I was very, very strict about what kind of lighting I wanted, and this is not it. Sorry, I apologize. Okay. No, that's fine. I mean, it's just like I can't see you when that light's like you get, there. You get this with <laughs> low budget. <laughs> okay. You get this kind of issue. I would, maybe, maybe one day you'll show the success. I wish. Just, one day. Just remember me then. Yeah, I will. Yeah. Well, if I keep scoring runs and taking wickets, probably not for a while yet. Yeah, no, true. Okay. But that okay. could, could try up at any point. I run your show? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the the laziest in the morning? You reckon are the lads? Who's who's the hardest to get up for for an early morning start? Yes, I'll, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm probably going to say you after what? what I saw you this morning. <laughs> what? I'm ready to go for golf. I'm ready to go. Yeah, yeah but you woke up like a zombie. Hey. Okay, like a zombie. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not great. Okay. I'm going to throw a name out there. Miguel Pretorius. Miguel Pretorius? Yeah. Really? Yeah, he's just a big lump of tiredness. Yeah. Okay, I, you, yeah, I know him a little bit better, but I think he's alright. Do you think he's alright? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've played him for a couple of years. No. Uh, so maybe there's just a tournament, he's just got into like a lackadaisical phase and it's like. Yeah, he's just. You should have seen him fielding yesterday. Maybe he wants to be like you. Maybe he's looking up to you. <laughs> like the senior. Yeah, okay, so he's okay. seen me he's seen you. walk around the haze in the morning and, and he's going, oh, like, that's how I have success nice to be by behaving like that. Yeah. Okay. I've dragged him out for a few brandies, that is true. <laughs> 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 
Macha, what is going on in this place? Is, can you control your people, please? Well, keep your mic in the right position, it won't be a problem. No, but like, I'm being physically abused here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine. Jimbo, like, out of this show of yours, a successful show you're running, which is yeah, really highly cool. rated, Oscar and nominated. And I want to say, first of all, I feel honored to be the first guest on the show because this is going to be booming. Who else have you got planned uh, on the show? And uh, is there anything like you want to go out of the box, maybe? Or are you just going to interview sitting down or, you know, that type of thing? What are you going to do? What other option is there lying down? I don't know, like, it's no budget. I guess you can go walk on the side of the street and have an interview. I might do one in the golf cart, you never know. I mean, one person I'm not going to be doing one of is Adil Rashid. He just <laughs> has no sense of humor. <laughs> so he's probably shuffled down the list a little bit. Will Jacks, Will Jacks made a statement to the group that his one goal in cricket is to score 100 in the power play. That's in a T20. So I'd love to get that out of him and see how he thinks he's going to score 100 off like 18 balls. <laughs> Right, well, uh, I think it's fair to say we've, we've run out of social interaction. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for joining us. I'll talk. No budget show. No, I'll talk. You'll get I've just got to prepare myself. Remember for okay. what we said? Okay, yeah, true. Okay, okay. So. You have a go, and then I'll have okay, a go. So, guys, thank you for coming to the. Is it, we're going to keep your name, or we're going to use my name? Or... It what? depends how well you do this. Okay, let's just see. Thank you for coming to the Jimmy Nisham No Budget Show, where we've had the guest of honour, Riley Rousseau, and the host of honour. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was great. That was great. Absolutely useless. Well, thanks for joining me for episode one of the No Budget Show. You're with your host, Jimmy Nisham, first guest, Riley Rousseau. It's been an absolute pleasure coming into your living rooms. Join us next time. That is how you do it. Right there. That's where you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys can't make any magic with that material, well, then you're not worth it. Thank you. Not worth having around. 152, perfect.